Welcome back. The auto industry has been experiencing a lot of change. Now Ford announces that it will slash prices on its electric pickup, the F-150 Lightning, by as much as $10,000. The price cut comes after more than a year of rising costs for the popular EV, which was initially priced for its base model of around $40,000. Uh, again, that's without all the bells and whistles. A Ford's news came days after Tesla said it completed production on the first of its long-awaited Cybertrucks, uh, nearly four years after Elon Musk first announced the project. Look at those. Wow. Bob Sora, I, I, I'm going to have you say your name because I heard it twice in my ear. Say your name for me, sir. Bob Sora Konich is all right. Some of my own family can't pronounce it. <laughs> Thank you for being forgiving. Bob Sorokonich, I know how to say it, an automotive uh, journalist is with me right now. So why is the price being adjusted? Can you tell us? Uh, there's a lot of factors. Ford says that they've increased the production capacity for the factory. Uh, they also say that the cost of the battery materials has gone down. But bottom line, there are more EVs on the market now than ever before. And it's kicking off a little bit of a price war which is not bad for consumers. You know, we were inside, we were honored to be inside of Ford's production facility in Detroit uh, when the first F-150 Lightnings came off the assembly line. Very impressive vehicles. Uh, the prices actually went up from when they first were rolled out from around that 40,000 I talked to to $60,000 in the spring. So the price cut still makes them a little bit higher for the base model than they were at the launch. Does it change the game now when we look at the broader electric vehicle market? Is this more competitive when we look at what Tesla's rolling out? So we don't know what Tesla's going to charge for the Cybertruck. The company has not announced that yet. But in general, um, we're seeing more electric models from more automakers. We've seen huge interest from consumers. So this price cut makes Ford more competitive in that market. And there's not really another competitive electric truck on the market right now. The Cybertruck is supposed to come later this year. Uh, General Motors and, and Ram are both re releasing electric trucks later this year. But uh, Ford kind of has the move here by dropping the prices on the vehicle that you can buy right now. In terms of other assets, other features, what do we know about Tesla's truck that's going to be different from the F-150 Lightning? Uh, just about everything. I mean, you can look at it and see how different it is from a it conventional like a pickup truck. It's, it's a strange looking vehicle and, and Tesla fans love that. Um, Tesla's made all kind of promises about this vehicle. It's gonna be able to drop the rear so that you could load stuff into the bed without hoisting it up to the, to the top of the vehicle. It's supposed to be very fast. It's supposed to have enormously quick acceleration. Look at that. But wow. we don't know details on it right now because Tesla hasn't really released specs on that pickup truck. Isn't Chevy coming out with their own version as well? Chevy has an electric pickup truck coming. Uh, Ram has an electric pickup truck coming. This is kind of the hottest area of the EV market right now. And it makes sense because American buyers love pickup trucks. So that's what all of these traditional EV makers are focusing on. But in terms of the progression and, and a lot of people's political decisions to try to get all Americans into electric vehicles, are we still looking for that to be down the road a ways because they are a little pricier or because people don't understand where they're going to charge their pickup trucks until Walmart decides to put uh, e-charging stations mm -hmm. at every one of its stores? Some are just not in the area, not in the region to practically buy one of these things. It's a big question. You know, um, there are folks who live in parts of America where there are no charging stations. And EVs are still expensive. You mentioned at the top, you know, th this is a $10,000 price cut on the Lightning, but it's coming down from 60000 to 50000 and that's still out of reach for a lot of buyers. So there's a lot of questions here. Uh, on the other hand, you know, there's, there's the federal tax benefit for EVs, which is up to $7,500. Some states are offering tax incentives as well. And, you know, the the uh, the Infrastructure Act made uh, resources available to make EVs more affordable, to build them in America, and to use battery material that's either from American sources or from countries that are friendly with America. So I think we're on the precipice of a big change, and I think that EVs are going to become mainstream very quickly. Okay, we only have 20 seconds. Can you just tell us the microchip issue? Have the chip, has that situation completely gone away, or is it still something where we're, we need more? Uh, I'm hesitant to say that it's gone away completely because this past two years has been so unpredictable in yeah. the car market. 
But we've seen that inventory is rising, which means that the automakers are now able to build cars to the demand. So for right now, things look like they're headed in the right direction. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.